changing from manning the camera to being the director? It's a good question. It's um, that's a good a good question. I, I would say like um, the way when I work with uh, is you know I worked with Clint Eastwood for twenty years as his cameraman, and what Clint has done for me is prepared me to be a director because what he does is he empowers me as a cameraman to do the job of a director. I basically have been working with him. We set up the blockings, I set up the shots, I, I do all the coverage that he needs and all that, and he just lets me do it. And he's just that empowering. He just he trusts me, and he, if there's something I'm not doing that he doesn't like, he'll tell me, obviously. But that has prepared me to be a director because he has just let me do all that. So when I was here with, uh, with Matt Damon on Invictus, he said the same thing. He said, Steve, you're doing everything a director should be doing. That's what you should be doing. And I said, yes, that's what I want to do. And uh, the first person that uh, uh, believed in me was Anton Ernst. He gave my first job. He says, yep, you can do it. He, he, uh, I want him over and uh, here I am. You know, it's an incredible journey. Amazing. Well, we're happy that you're here. Yes, thank um, you. How did your relationship with Clint start? How did you guys meet? I was a huge fan, like we all are, of Clint Eastwood, but he was really my idol. You know, I've worked with Robert De Niro and Marlon Brando and Pacino and all these people. And they're great actors, obviously, and I'm you know, thrilled by them. But Clint was really my boyhood idol. Uh, I had posters on the wall of, uh, of him and Good, the Bad, and the Ugly, and Dirty Harry. And I actually had a dog named Clint. Really? A dog named Clint. 16 years that dog lasted, and he was the best dog ever. And he's named Clint because I just loved the man. And, you know, I grew up in Montreal, uh, and my dream was to meet Clint one day. You know, I didn't know I was going to be in the film business as a kid, but I ended up that's the way. And I thought, okay, that's one step closer to meeting him. Uh, and one thing led to another, and I did a movie with his cinematographer, and I said, well, if I work really hard for him, he might recommend me, and that's exactly what happened. I ended up in a cornfield in Iowa and on bridges of Madison County and meeting my idol. And, uh, you know, I just went up to him and just blabbered away like any fan would and say, thank you for bringing me here and being allowed to work with you. And I said, Mr. Eastwood, this is a dream come true. And he stopped me and he said, call me Clint. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah, it was like the best <laughs> moment of my life. I was like, wow. And then 20 years later, I was still working with him. And wow. you know, I had to leave one of his movies. We were in Morocco right before I came down here in March doing American Sniper. And I had to leave the movie when I got the call to come down here. So it was bittersweet there, but I, he was very supportive. He says, you know, I can never stand in the way of progress. And you know, you're going to be a great director. And you know, he says, go kill it for me. And I said, I will. Yeah.